Uh, this is the story of a very special Gobrecht dollar. Uh, it was one of the, what ended up being one of the real pattern dollars from 1836. So we'll give a little background of the story. In August of 2010, a woman in Pennsylvania, a non-coin collector, went to her mother's sacred deposit box. Her mother was ill, and uh, she found a an 1836 Gobrecht dollar there. She didn't know what this was, so she went to a local coin dealer, a very reputable guy, and he said, oh, this is very valuable, it's, it's you know, very nice, you should have it certified, slabbed, to protect it and, and to, you know, keep it safe. And then it came back proof 62, it comes back proof 62. She says, sell the coin, and he sells the coin, uh, and it went through multiple dealers. The next year, her mother dies, she cleans out the safety deposit box and she finds an old letter stuck in an old Bible that tells the story of that silver dollar. And it turns out that dollar was given to our ancestor by General Andrew Jackson, the president. And it was one of the first coins sent to him to approve the design. He got maybe a half a dozen of them. He did give some of them away to special people, including, you know, her mother in 1837. This was a letter from 1888. So she's reading this letter and she's like, oh, what have I done? I sold this coin last year and it came from Andrew Jackson. Well, she uh, connected to a researcher, tried to track the coin down, it's long gone. Turns out it was sold in a heritage auction the next year. Uh, they contacted the owner who said, I've already resold it. The, the current owner doesn't want to sell it. Please let us know if it becomes available. So in three years later, uh, the story is presented to Liberty C to me. A very sad story. People are just heartbroken. She sold this very special coin. And uh, it just turned, he said, be on the lookout. I had a picture of it. That very afternoon, he was on the Boris floor, and he saw that coin in the dealer's case. He said, save it for me, I gotta make a phone call. And he ended up brokering the sale back to the woman. And uh, so the story was written up in the March 15th uh, Gobrek Journal. And the coin, the Bible, and the letter are all reunited. And Midge makes her, her children and grandchildren know all about this coin and how special it is. So it's just a miracle that she sold it and got it back. Unbelievable. So cool. Thank you.